I have been at the KHMH for 20 years. Yes. So I've had, I have had the advantage of living and seeing the problems that exist within the institution. It is an institution that necessarily must undergo rejuvenation every so often. If we look at the fact that from 2016 to today, there is $35 million of outstanding bills that have not been paid. If we look at the fact that just in 2020 alone, there uh, is $9 million of bills that have not been collected. Certainly it was a pandemic year, but if we take the trend of so much money uh, not coming back to us, mm -hmm. then it, it's a crisis. The, the board feels like it is necessary to shake things up. It is necessary to get a new energy from all the directors uh, in the institution because we, we have big dreams and aspirations that are the dreams and aspirations of the Belizean public. I come from a clinical background, mm -hmm. and my commitment to the public is that only the very best people will be able to, um, to attain those positions. That is my commitment. Uh, I do welcome the scrutiny. Indeed, I, I, I wish that more scrutiny can be had, not only for the KHMH board, but all the boards that operate across this country. So I, I welcome the scrutiny.